Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Well, hi. There's a whole lot going on in the world, but we are still here bringing you a sneaky peek at the showbiz news, a wry look at the fun things on the internet that caught our eye, and never to be forgotten, another one of our life lessons. And now it's time to say hello to a vision in plaid, that is Mike, Benny and Rowe. Thank you for calling me a vision. I, I know that you meant like a vision. Yeah, I didn't say whether it was a good vision yeah, yeah, or, yeah. A, right, or a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been reaching around the stories of the internet, grabbing them firmly, and I've come up with some great stories, including something that's changing for Christmas. Oh. And I have a story about a new design from a, from a celebratory. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, search for Chewing the Cud. You know, I do enjoy when we play with each other. Filthy, filth beast. N no, not that Spast kind of thing. Okay, all right. When mm. we play around with each other. A game, I'm hoping you're yeah. meaning. I, I mean... <laughs> Game of the week. The producer has to rush off straight after the show because he's auditioning for a part as a boxer in the next instalment of the Rocky films. He says he can't wait to enter the boxer's ring and knock one out. Have you ever stopped to consider just how different Rocky would have been if just one letter in the title had been changed? So you mean cocky, cocky two? I think... That's a special DVD collection I have. Well, here are the descriptions of some other films where one letter has been changed. We just have to work out what the film might have been called. Can we have the first one up, please? Julie Andrews shows Dick Van Dyke how to pleasure himself with sandpaper and yard brushes. Don't know. You don't know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a guess? <laughs> so the film is Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Okay. I think. Okay, so you need to change one letter in bed knobs and broomsticks. To make it funny. To make it fit that description. Okay. Um, um, oh, I don't know. Uh, red knob and broomsticks. Red knob and broomsticks, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, shall we see? It was indeed red oh, knobs and broomsticks. Well. Yeah, Yay. awkward for him. A bit. Painful. Bit of a pain, really. Mm. To what grade of, of sandpaper she uses? Probably 180. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, ha let's have another one. You don't, yeah, we didn't <laughs> know what that meant. Elton John wrote the music to this coming-of-age story, Simba and Scar beginning to explore fetish clothing. Ooh. Lion Kink. Lion Kink? Ooh. I see what you've done there. So let's see if let's see if Lion Kink is the answer. Ah, oh, yeah, she got it right. Yeah, it was the fetish clothing that gave it away, and if Elton John was involved. Hmm. Should we get the next one up? I'll go on then. Herman, Lily, Grandpa, and Eddie join Mike and Sully as they start higher education. I don't know. I do. Monsters Inc. Oh, instead of, instead of... Is that it? Monsters Inc.? So Monsters yeah, they, they, Inc.? Monsters Inc. They did a follow-up, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, after Monsters Inc. They did another one. I can't remember what it was called. Monsters Inc. 2. The Revenge. <laughs> the Revenge. <laughs> Monsters Inc. with Univermine in there. Monsters University. Yeah. Monsters one? University. <laughs> Jesus, this is going to be a long record today. <laughs> so, are you saying Monsters University, Lee? I'm going to say Monsters University. <laughs> okay, shall we see if that's right? <laughs> oh, well done, me. Well, well done, you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, crashing on. Let's have another one. Let's see if I can make... Danny Mayne explode! Um, Zippy, George, Jeffrey and Baloo? Present their friend with a copy of his autobiography. Huh? Zippy, so, George, George, Jeffrey, mm. and Baloo. The Bungle Book. Oh. 
It is the Bungle Book. It is the Bungle Book, yeah. Do you think anybody that watches this programme remembers Rainbow? I think most of our viewers do remember do Rainbow. Think? Yeah. Mm, okay. Should we have another one then? Go, yeah. We're doing so well, so we yeah. Are. So a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a cricket reference... <laughs> A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a cricket referee's battles against the evil empire. Something to do with Star Wars. <laughs> Something to do with Star Wars. Star Wars. Wait. Umpire. Oh. Umpire the strikes Umpire back. Strikes Back. Yeah. yeah. Should we see if that was right? Oh, yeah. yes. These are all porn films as well, aren't they? The Umpire Strikes Back. Mm. What kind of porn was that? It involves his wicket and his <laughs> crease. <laughs> oh dear. And he hit six. Are we still persevering with this? We are. Let's have another one then. Macaulay Culkin has to protect his house from burglars whilst coming to terms with his homosexuality. Homo alone. Homo alone. Homo alone. Homo alone. Um, <laughs> no, not alone, because no, that's too many letters changed. Oh, homo alone. Homo alone. Which... Homo alone. Homo alone. Oh, yeah, I, that's I, what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. I'll, I, I'll, yeah, I think so. That's, let's see. Let's see. Homo alone. No. Homo alone. No, 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 alone. No. Just alone. Homo alone. <laughs> Like a lot of us at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Well. It be an allegory of life. Oh, what? I don't know what that word means. <laughs> I didn't hear the word you used. Allegory. An allegory. Yeah. Anyway, this isn't countdown. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll, show, have, show I'll have two big ones <laughs> and three little ones. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we see who's winning or losing at this point? Do we know? Do we care? I'll, we'll have a check in. Oh, it's two to me, three to you. Oh, yeah, that's good. Somehow, yeah, we don't know how that's <laughs> happened. Because although I'm physically here, <laughs> mentally, I don't know where I am. Um, okay, let's have, a, let's have another one. Kate Winslet stars as Queen of the Fairies, who hits an iceberg and goes down quickly. She's been reading my autobiography. <laughs> well, the... Queen of the Fairies is Titania. Okay. Is, is that it? Titania. Titaniac. Titaniac. <laughs> Titania. Titania goes down. I don't know. <laughs> Shall we see if you're right yeah, with I'm that? Not, I'm not feeling it. This <laughs> Titania goes down. Oh, no, well, I did get it right. <laughs> Titania. Yeah, Titania. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of like Titania Goes Down. <laughs> that is a specialist movie. It is it? very niche. Very niche. Mm -hmm. Did you get the last one up then? Oh, please. Let's get the last one up. Yeah. Join Bilbo Baggins and his friends as they cheat by covering their opponent's quits with dripping. This is a porn film, I have to <laughs> Quits. What's a quit? Is it a word for a for a dingling? For a dingling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a definition of, of quit, please? Oh, it's the thing that you rub. You, <laughs> it's the thing you rub. It's a rubber ring that you toss over someone's bag when you're playing games. Oh, okay. Peg, sorry. Peg. Peg. Okay, so it isn't. We are talking about a porn film. Then. <laughs> apparently not. It's, it's, apparently it's done with kids and things. So I think not think so. Okay, right. Um, it's you to guess, isn't it? Not no me. idea what was, what was being said. Bilbo <laughs> Baggins uh -huh. and his friends yeah. fall over each other. <laughs> and they're dripping. No, Bilbo Baggins and his friends as they cheat by covering their opponent's coits with dripping. <laughs> oh dear, I believe it's called Crisco. Lord of the Rings. Oh, I could see where you're coming from there. Let's see. Lord yeah. of the Rings. Yes, you were right. Shall, shall we see see what? Let, let's see who won. That, yeah. That Before I open a trial. vein. Yeah. On the. 
So somehow Lee won three four. Wow. <laughs> Even when I'm not hundred percent, I can still thresh you to within an inch of your life. Anyway, it's not long now until we bring you a very special life lesson. But before we get to that, we have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we take a look at what he's found in TV Quick. It's Lee with the showbiz news. You know full well, I get all my news from CFAX. Mm -hmm. Beep, 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 and then it scrolls down, down <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly. On CFAX? Yeah. And the then thing the that was, was like turned off like 20 years ago. Has it? Yeah. What am I watching then? What is it that I've seen on television? Wow. Weird. Oh, okay. Are you a fan of Crocs? Not the reptile. Oh. The, the footwear. You mean the hideous evil things that should be destroyed? Yes. So I'm taking it as a no. I, I'm not a fan of Crocs. You're not a fan of Crocs. Crocs should only be used in one situation, and that's in hospitals and operating theatres. Okay. Right, because they're quick and easy to clean. Okay. Right, and you can get them sterilised. That's the only reason you should be allowed to wear Crocs. So you've got no strong feelings either way, no, really, really, about them. No, no. No. Well, so you're not interested in the fact that Justin Bieber has launched his own range of Crocs? So really what you've done there is you've gone, Mike, these two things that you really hate, <laughs> let's put them together. Well, yeah, we, 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 he, it is not a joke. He has released oh, wow. his own range of Crocs, and that what? is an actual picture of them there. Um, that is a picture of some strange man you know child on when, the other when side. When puberty kicks in, that, that moustache is really good. It's going to really fill good. and look yeah, really yeah. good, isn't it? Mm. Uh, but no, yeah, he, he has decided, he, so he wears Crocs a lot. On purpose. On purpose. Um, so he's brought out his own line. It, they are bright yellow. That's okay. the only colour you can get at the moment. Bright yellow. Bright yellow. Just to show the dirt up. Just, just yeah, because that's the that's the signature colour of his fashion brand. I didn't even know we had a fashion brand. It's, Is it like it's nappies got a signature and? Color. <laughs> um, and they're covered in eight custom gibbets. I don't know what a gibbet is. But I like the cut of his jib. It's, I, nearly, <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said jizz bits. Um, so gibbets are those uh -huh. little little kind of shapes. Pins. Yeah, the little things that you can pull in and out. And so really, you've not got brooches on. You've got gibbets. No, you've got a gibbet on your bosom. I've, yes, yeah, I have. Um, so yeah, so this is his official statement about a croc. Bear, let's bear in mind, these are horrible, hideous, plastic monstrosities that, like you said, only should be worn in... in Operating theatres. Operating theatres. Yeah. So he says, as an artist, it is important that my creations stay true to myself and my style. I wear crocs all the time, so designing my own pair came naturally. With these crocs, I just focused on making something really cool and I wanted to wear. Shall we bring the picture back up again? I, I, of, I'm of sorry, I, I have a lot of issues with that statement. <laughs> it starts where he starts saying, as an artist. <laughs> <laughs> and mm. finishes where he says something cool. I'm sorry, when my sister was like three or four, that's the sort of thing she would wear. She was into mm. jelly sandals. Yeah. Right? And it was sparkling, that sort of thing. And I, I can live with that because she was a child, but no Justin Bieber. No. No, it is no. it's 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 very strange. He's followed it up. He says so right, so they're unisex, they're they're a limited edition, and they're available now. <laughs> there, there isn't any way that you can make crocs cool. Cool. But you yeah. can go on you can buy yourself a pair of crocs, and you can go on certain websites. And they're called, it's called Pimp My Crocs. And they will, <laughs> they will um, pimp your crocs for you. Okay. So we've got, we've got a picture here of um, a big they dazzle. Yours, they? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear crocs. You could cover them in swags. I'm having a stroke. Swarovski crystals. Does it, I, there's still a pair of crocs. I'd, I'd be more likely to wear some dog poo on my feet that's okay. been covered in glitter than wear, wear those. So, so you can go and have them bedazzled and, and, yeah. and jeweled. But then there's also um, another website that you can go on that gives you alternate uses for Crocs. Um, this is the best one. Um, you can turn it into a hamster Aww. bed. That's Aww. cute. But even knowing that the hamster would die, I want to destroy that Croc. 
And there is a website that does that, how to destroy crocs. Is there? Yeah, yeah, and they, they literally, they, they fight, stick dynamite in them and blow them up and all wow. sorts. Wow. I, I, they're kind of like tyres, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They can't destroy them, they just burn an oily, unpleasant flame mm -hmm. and just pollute the environment. Yeah, they're ecologically not a great show. They're not good. So Justin Bieber, we're not, we're not keen on that. Nope. Let's move on to something a little more palatable. Naked men. Yes. Yes. So, um, the full, the real full Monte. 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 The real full Monte. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> the real full Monte mm -hmm. is an ITV show that's been going for the past two, three years, where groups of celebrities... Why am I only just finding out about it now if it's been going for two, three years? I don't know. I'm surprised. So, it's groups of celebrities, okay. and they um, get taught... Um, the dance routine from the full Monty, you know, the strip, stripping off Okay, thing. how to take your clothes off to music. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it's all for charity. It's all to, to raise awareness of prostate cancer. Okay. Um, so we have a picture of last year's um, male contestants. Um, okay. So Ashley Banjo's there. So Ashley Banjo teaches them the routine. Oh, okay. Um, and they have so he doesn't get naked? I don't think he does the, the oh. naked thing. Um, so last year we had people like Joe Pasquale, who was quite ripped when he took his clothes off. Mm -hmm. It was, it was a I think, surprise. I think they might do some prep work if they know uh, yeah. they're on this show. Yeah, they do. There's, there's, there's you know, the usual kind of people from Love Island and Towie and that kind of stuff. Um, and then last year they introduced a female lineup as well. So we've got a, a picture of, so don't snigger, we've got a <laughs> picture of, of the female lineup. So there's people like the, one of the Nolans, somebody who used to be in Liberty X, somebody who's got hair, um, other people. Um, and so they, what they do is they teach them this dance routine and, and then they do it in front of an audience and they take their clothes off. And I don't think you see like full... But this year, so it's coming back this year, mm -hmm. but there's going to be, there's a challenge to it. It's going to be done on ice. So oh, they, no. I know. So they're, they're going to, so it's performing on ice will take the challenge to a whole new level. The celebrities won't know what's hit them. What the could cold possibly go Cold ice as they fall over. Now, in general, oh. coldness <laughs> is not a friend to the old meat and two veg, is it? It's it, not. It, it and you don't it want a chilly willy. You don't want a chilly willy. So yes. I'm not quite sure. So whoever's good. So there, there is there is a lineup already. So they've got Jake Quickenden, somebody from Love Island, uh, and um, ex rugby player Gareth Thomas. So yeah. So they're going to be doing on ice. And Gareth, uh, see, they don't take all their clothes off. It's yeah. just kind of like a bit of a reveal. I mean, it's on ITV. It's in, you know, like, sort of, like, 8 o'clock. It's not going to show on full. on Channel 4, we have the Naked Attraction show. Yeah, but that's kind of, like, on, like, 10 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, well, they could just put it on later. <laughs> Let just me see so celebrities with his... Celebrity peen. Yes. Okay. Well, I've seen them sing. I've seen them dance. Now I want to see the bits. Okay. Well, it has been, it's been going since 2017. Oh. Which is quite a long time. Um, and the original was, was Alexander Armstrong, who, who led it was originally male... Um, celebs mm -hmm. and and so this year it's, it's 20 years since the actual original full monte was yeah. released that makes you feel old doesn't it mm, yeah so yeah that's something to look out with there'll be another one of these where they're kind of practicing it because of corona and um possibly tying rubber bands around the base of their johnsons to make them stay large um <laughs> something that you know that um okay we're going to move on. Something really highbrow. Okay. Um, so when you think I mean, of... More highbrow than naked men with rubber bands on ice. Yeah, even more highbrow than yeah. that. So Robbie Williams, he's not shy about kind of telling people about his life. He's um, not, you're right. I know, no. I, to this day, every time someone says Robbie Williams, I have to take like three, four seconds just to go, not Robin. Oh, okay. Because they're two very different people. Two very different people, yeah. One being dead. Well, um... <laughs> Well, he and his wife, Ada, um, they have been on a podcast. Okay. And um, as they do, chatting about stuff, um, he's admitted that, that he, he's had a, he had an accident on a plane. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> and he ended, up, with the story. he ended up peering in his own hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's set, let's set the scene. It's not like you could accidentally do that, I'm sorry. So, okay, <laughs> so... so she, basically, his wife said that he farts a lot in general. Okay. okay. Um, and usually, when they're on a flight together, he has 
a kind of a process of, of doing stuff. So he has a way of doing it so, so that nobody can hear him. He calls it a sort of two-finger silencer. Okay, right. Where... <laughs> So he pulls the cheek, okay, a semi-lift cheek pull, and it silences the, the, the fart. So he says, I'm 45 and I'm really good at it now. I'm 45 and I'm really good at it now. Um, however, it's not always been... A <laughs> it's not always been a fail-safe thing. Um, so what he was on a... He was on a he was on a plane, he pulled the cheek apart, he let rip, and he followed through <laughs> right into his hand. <laughs> um, but ever the optimist, he said that fortunately he didn't get any other of it on the fabric of his trousers. Oh, well, that's all right then. And so, yeah, it's, it's a the skill. fact he calls it a two finger silencer. <laughs> uh, literally, it's shot for good. <laughs> Or I'm pooping angels instead. I have met. I have uh, yeah. Plopped in jail. You've thought about this a lot, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I think. I think. I think that has kind of peaked showbiz, and I'm going to end it now. That is all. All the showbiz news we have for this week. I'm just going to go and poop in my hand. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Always good to know what you can do with your fingers to stop yourself farting. Coming soon, we have our life lesson. But before that, we put up with Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to Mike. Now, when I say Mike, I mean the alien entity that's come down, taken over Mike's body, and he's pretending to be Mike. It's Mike in the bus. Did you just say something's going to come down has entered me? Whatever you choose to read into that, that's not my problem. I'll <laughs> just pull your face back on straight. I can see your, <laughs> see your gills. <laughs> that's not a gill. <laughs> anyway, I've been deep in the internet trying to find lots of fun things. Um, now, the first thing I found is, do you remember fidget spinners? Yes, I do. Yeah, and how annoying they were for everybody else. So some I, people used to go, oh, I can do a fidget spinner, and everybody else is going, I hate you because you're playing with a fidget spinner. Yeah. Okay. Well, they've made them a slightly bit more annoying. Okay. As they've, they've created one that's not just a fidget spinner, but is also a fully functional, working mobile phone. Oh. It actually spins, and the middle button is actually the, the spinning part. Okay. And it's actually the middle button. You can phone and text. You can't play games. It's not a smartphone. Okay. Okay. It is just a basic phone, like a Nokia with snake on it. Why would why are people buying it? People are buying it. Really? Mm. Stupid people. People that like fidget spinners a lot. Okay. And, and little cheap phones a lot. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't understand. So you spin it and you make a phone call at the same time. You can do you spin know, it does, and... does your voice not just go in and out? As it's <laughs> like spinning the around. Effect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> does that how it works? No, you can use it as a normal mobile phone. Okay. And as a fidget spinner. Right. So, yeah. Then we need to add that to the lit to, to Justin Bieber's Crocs <laughs> and say no. Things that should never be, exist. Yeah, just say yeah. no. I, I, it's in yellow as well, so maybe Justin Bieber's designed it because yellow's his colour. Just need some jizz bits on it. And, um, <laughs> I don't think that's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> they are now. They are now. <laughs> okay. Um, should we move on? Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of people out there that have got you know problems with housing and that sort of thing. Well, um, a couple in the UK have come out with a way of saving a lot of money, mm -hmm. right, and being sure they always get beautiful views when they're at home. And that's they've sold everything and have gone to live in a van. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. We're talking like a, a transit van, not okay. a big van. Right. right. Nice teeth. Like, lovely teeth. Mm. Yeah, because they, they don't have to pay for a mug so they can get good dentistry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we've got um, young man and his wife and their daughter all living in a in a van that okay. they've converted into a house, and this is becoming quite big. A lot of people are what, selling people living in vans. People living in vans. Are they nice vans? Uh, it's things like a Bolingo. I don't know what that is. I was going to say, I'm trying to explain vans to you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> a Bolingo? What? Quite small vans, so about 
in the back's only enough space for a double bed. Okay. Yeah. Where Do you remember they... la- the movie Lady in a Van? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's that kind of size van. It's small. Why? Why? Because it saves a lot of money. Just have a smaller house. <laughs> yeah, but it's even cheaper to live in a van. Yeah, but you, but if you're living in the back of a van, where do you do? Where do you go to the toilet? Where do you cook? Well, the, the, where do you go and have alone time? But yeah, so you, you could save a small fortune living in a van, Lee. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do it. No, no, not no. one. Not no. one. Um, and when they say view, mm-hmm. does that mean they just go and park somewhere yeah. and open the doors at the at the back in the morning? Good morning. Yeah, it's like, hello world. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Not for you. I, I, it's not, I wouldn't recommend it. You're not going to recommend it. No. Some people do. No. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. Um, anyway, last week we spoke about online shopping. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we got literally ones of people saying, we want to see more of these things we can buy. Oh. So I've come back with some more items for you. Have you? Yes, on our very own Could uh, VC. So this isn't ripping off QVC at all. No. Right. These are things you can actually buy online. Mm-hmm. Okay, would you like to see the first one? Please. Okay. So this is a, a painting by Van Gogh. Mm-hmm. Okay, that you can buy for $200. Okay. And it's probably not the original one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's almost definitely not the original one at $200. Or it's a really big bargain. So the original could cost you millions. Mm-hmm. Or this, probably not the original, no. just two hundred dollars. Have they kind of checked the museum where the original is kept, see if it's still there? No, or no, is no, there no, like no, just... no fact checking whatsoever. It's no. literally just you've just got to you just got to take it or leave it. You got it's, you're running your risk. You pay your money, you take your choice. You know. Okay. Okay. I would pass on that. We're going to pass on that yeah. one. Okay. Fridge freezers, white goods. They're not cheap. No, they're not. They're not. Okay. You could buy one for a dollar. Oh, a dollar. A dollar. A whole dollar. Um, and this chest freezer was originally almond in colour. Okay. The freezer was unplugged in 2010 mm. while it still had food inside it. You must take the freezer as is with the 10-year-old food inside. The person that's selling it doesn't know whether it works or not. It's free to a good home, but must remove, um, load and haul it yourself. You see, that isn't, that's not containing old food. That's got body parts in it, hasn't it? It's a serial killer's fridge. <laughs> it's, a, and they, need, they need to move into a van <laughs> to, to kind of downsize, and then they need to get rid of the body parts in the freezer. That's, that's one option, yeah. Mm. Okay. I'll, I'll give that a miss as well. Okay, I think you're going to go for this one, Lee. Okay. I, I genuinely think you're going to go, I need that in my life now. Okay, this is a table centrepiece for when you're having a dinner party. After Rona. After Rona, or mm. via Zoom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where someone has repurposed some old shoes and put some cherries in it as a centrepiece. That's beautiful. For only $45. Only $45. Yes. I'm liking the, the evidence that they have been worn. <laughs> yes, um, they're not as, new as shoes. The, <laughs> <laughs> as the kind of smudge footmarks in their heels. Um, and are those real? Cherries. They are real cherries. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you get fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Inside fresh, a foot. Inside somebody's old shoe. Mm. Rotting. Yeah. Uh, who, who, is the, who is the person that's that put this for sale? <laughs> They're available on Facebook Marketplace. Sort of these really? Yes. And people... That's serious. That's not like... Serious. We would only bring you serious stories. Oh, dear. Well, no, I, I wouldn't want that either. You wouldn't want that? No. No? Okay. Somebody's rancid old heels on the table. <laughs> a bit of fruit, of, in it? <laughs> bit of rotten fruit. I'll just buy a fruit bowl and some shoes <laughs> <laughs> if, if I want to do that. Okay. And if something catches your eye on the internet, whether it's a story or some fun things for sale, why not share it with us? Just look for The Could TV on all your usual social media platforms. We have been absolutely thrilled this week to receive an email from, yet again, a Mrs. Belinda Mycock, who writes... Here's another entry for your Knit of the Week competition. Oh, that looked like a bit like Donald Trump. I thought it was a chode. A chode? What's a chode, please? A chode is a small, compact penis. A compact penis? Yes. So like a travel penis? Travel penis. It's not very large. It's not very girthy. It's a little chode. Which is basically Donald Trump. Well, that brings us to story of the week. Okay, now Lee. Mm-hmm. And he used to be brave. 
Okay. Okay. This is quite scary news. Is it? And I need you to be strong. Okay. Morrison's, Waitrose, and John Lewis have all banned glitter this year. So for Christmas, there will be no glitter. I'm not happy. Because glitter is environmentally horrendous. Because it's, it's tiny bits of plastic. I don't care. <laughs> and you know, every time you every time you sprinkle glitter somewhere, turtles die. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what about the children? I don't care about that either. What about the phrase that we don't own the planet, we just inherit it, we just um look after it for our children. And it'll look a goddamn sight better with glitter all over it. Glitter all no, over yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dead animals. <laughs> glitter. Covered in glitter. Floating in the sea. Oh, it's a sad time, isn't it? It is a sad time. But what? So if someone can come up with environmentally friendly glitter... Well, they have, and apparently that's just as bad as, as regular glitter. Really? Mm. So it's not that environmentally friendly glitter, no. then, is it? No, so sad times. Oh, so you're just going to have to use, like, diamond chips and stuff like that. <laughs> chips of... Yeah, because Chips got... of precious <laughs> gems. <laughs> exactly. Um, but, yeah, over 50 tonnes of plastic... Um, have been removed from the shelves just by removing glitter. 50 tonnes. That's just like my living room. <laughs> I do have this image of you just going into your house and just jumping into a big tub of <laughs> glitter. Oh, what, what, else, what else? What's next? What ne what's the, what are going to take away from us next, Mike? Oxygen? Oxygen. No, because that's, once again, that's not environmentally <laughs> unsafe. You know, first it's the Rona and we're not allowed to touch people inappropriately anymore. You've never it's been allowed to do that. Cars. You've never been allowed to do that, Lee. That's always been illegal. That's what we've been saying to you for the past few years. And now they're taking the glitter away. There's just no point. There's no point. No point in living anymore. Um, also crackers. You know, the little toys inside the crackers? Well, yeah. Uh, so. You see, I judge a person by the, the um, quality of cracker. Do you? Yeah. So, well, what's the best thing you've ever had inside a cracker? The best thing I've ever had inside a cracker was a small child that I now use as, as a slave <laughs> in my house. Does all the housework. It was amazing. <laughs> Popped out. Are you sure that was, are you sure you were in a, in, a, in a cracker or a maternity ward? Oh, uh, it could have been that, yeah. Because that's also sort of like kidnapping. Yeah, yeah, it could have been that. No, I can't, yeah, probably, probably tiny set of screwdrivers. Little set of screwdrivers. Yeah, they, that was good. Quality Street. Pardon? Quality Street, am I? What I do is I, when I buy the cracker, I, un I untie one of the ends and put Quality Street in. Okay. Is it? Who doesn't love a green triangle and a big purple one? <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. Don't touch that remote control. As coming up next, it's this week's life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now you can't tell I'm moist with anticipation because it's time for this week's... Life Lessons. As we've been in lockdown, again, for mm, the second time, yes. yeah, uh, we've got to come up with something that we can do at home with things that we might have lying around. Okay. Now, do you remember the craze of tie-dyeing? Vaguely. In the late, late, late early 90s, even. Yeah. Everyone's wearing, like, brightly coloured tie-dye yeah. stuff. Yeah. Did you ever partake? I, I did. I actually think I have worn a tie-dye t-shirt on this very show. Oh. In the wow. past. I think it's time we, we, we gave you that, that skill. Oh. Yes. So the first thing we need to do is give ourselves some protection. Do we? So you should have some gloves. I do. Okay, so you need to put on your gloves. I need to de-ring before I put on my gloves. Okay. okay. Oh, it's very tight. It's nothing like a tight ring, is there? It's not, no. I don't, I don't normally slip it off that quickly, then. This, if we're putting gloves yes. on, we are. that makes me think it's going to be something that's messy. It, 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 you have the chance of staining. Ooh. And no one wants a stained digit. An unpleasant yes. stained digit. No. It's the bane of my life. I've heard. Oh, I can't get in. Oh, there we go. So once you're pr protected up, 
you should have a t-shirt with you. I do have a t-shirt. And some marbles. I do. Okay, lovely. What we're going to do is we're going to do some marble tie-dyeing. Oh. Okay. Now, all we're going to do here is take your t-shirt and decide where you want your first swirl to be. Okay. Okay. And then from, from behind, I want you to pop your marble through. I'm going to choose a large marble. A large marble. And I'm going to put it in the nipple area. I've gone for a nipple area Have too. Have you? How unusual. <laughs> I've gone for a nipple area. Okay. Okay. See, where my nipples and your nipples are very different, my nipples are kind of near the hem <laughs> of the t-shirt. You know, you're going to have three in a straight look because you're going to do belly button at the same time. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've put it inside. Okay, and then you're just going to give it a twist. It's like a little ghost. Like, like a little ghost. Like a tiny... And you're going to screw its head. Like a tiny nipple ghost. Yes. And then once you've got a little bit of a twist, yeah. you need to wrap it off okay. with a piece of string. Okay. <laughs> I forgot you can't do knots. You have issues with knots and things, don't you, Lee? Um, yeah. Hang on. All right, tie Yay. it. Okay. And then you're going to give it a bit of a twist. Another An twist. Another twist. Another twist. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to tie it off again. Again? Again. How, f how far down? A few centimetres, maybe an inch. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> let me see. That works. Is that it? That's okay. So, I've got, I've got quite, mine's quite pert. Yes, it's like a little person. It's a little person. A little of a wobble. Okay, so that's the first one. And then we're going to do another one on the other side. Or another location. On the other nipple. I'm going to do the other nipple. Yeah, I am. I'm going to repeat the exact same They're process. Large marbles. You knew they were so big. Yeah. But when you twist this time, try twisting the other way. Oh. Okay. Because that way you're going to get different patterns. Is this something that you do regularly? I don't regularly tie-dye things because, you know, it's not the late 90s anymore. Or... <laughs> Is tie-dyeing fashionable again? Um, it should be. It's not, but I think it should be. You think it should be? I think it should be, because you get to have bespoke clothing and, you know, nobody else in the world, in their right mind, would have this kind of t-shirt. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then from the... Then what you want to do is you just want to do... Looks like breasts. It looks a little... Very saggy breasts. <laughs> I am getting on, dear. You are getting. Um, and then from the bottom, we're going to do something called full tie-dyeing. Okay. Okay. Which is where you just fold it over in a concertina. You fold it over like that, mm -hmm. and then the other way you fold it under. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a oh, okay, right. Like a concertina. Yeah. Like you're doing a fan. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And then these we're going to wrap. Like that. You see that? No. No. Were you looking? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with these ones, you're going to get... Well, you've got a bit of fabric there. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get a piece of string. Yeah. Put it under. And just get it really tight. So you're not going to twist it. You're just going to do that. Okay. Okay. Can I not just buy one for £2 from Primark? Can, can you buy tie-dye clothes from Primark? I don't know. I wouldn't have thought you could. Are they the same thing as those... Um, Hyper global warmy thing. Hyper global magnet. Yes. Um, that's not what they're called. No. No. That um, made you look. Made your made your tits sweat. Yes. Yeah. And then showed up in a bright colour that you yeah. sweat. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to put our colours on. Ooh. So you should have a selection of colours. I have. They're, they're warm, buckets. Mike. Why are they, they warm? warm? Because hand hand dyeing, you need to do it with warm. Oh. Yeah. And urine. Um. You don't really need to use your own. And so you can just put colour wherever you want. Wherever there's a, a piece of string, it will leave a white line. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go for red nips. I'm going to watch you first. You're going to watch me first. Yes. You just squeeze the tip off. Just the tip. Okay. It's like art beat, this, it isn't is. it? And then you just 
Deep, 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 deep. Let's see. Oh, that looks um. Deep, 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 deep. And now you have to be careful not to do what I'm doing, which is dripping everywhere. Looks like you've got bloody nipples. I've got bloody nipples. Okay, I'm going to do green. You're going to go for green. Go for septic. Septic. Okay. Look. Oh, I'm being very messy here. And then you just <laughs> just add, just keep adding colours. Just keep adding colours wherever you want to add colours at this point. Mine, mine looks like an autopsy. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. I haven't stuck to the <laughs> to the actual environment of the of the tie dye. <laughs> Have you kind not? of gone off? Have you gone off pieced? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I might go off piece as well, to be fair, because it looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, liking that, actually. I think I might do something similarly. Okay. Okay, yeah. And then what you're supposed to do is let that dry. But I can't wait to let this Can dry. you know? I want to see. Is it through the magic of television? Let's just, just, just unpeel it. How, how do you undo them? You undo the string. I tied them in knots. Oh, have you done really? Have you done really tight knots? It's like a body. Three, two, one. one. Oh. Oh. oh! That's great! Yeah. Yours is like a little face! I've actually got tied out of this, we've just got splodges. Yeah, mine, yeah, I lost, <laughs> I lost the will to live, really. <laughs> Have just you written a swear word at the bottom there? No, I haven't, I've done nothing, I've just... Sorry, can you just hold that up again? And can we just focus in on the purple splodge at the bottom that looks like it's got an F at the start? Mm. So there we go. Well, that was lovely, and um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear that later. You Mine's gone right. away. This has gone away. Yeah. Okay. We have come to the end of the show for now, but if you can't wait a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website, and while you are on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips. And like a discarded carrier bag washed up on the lonely beach, we have a just enough time to show you our photo of the week, which comes from Mr. Eric Shun. My partner came home last night and let me nibble on his big nuts while watching EastEnders. No, that's love, isn't it? They are very big nuts. <laughs> Stay safe and we'll see you all next time. Bye!